again. This is Steve, Ao, and um, we are continuing to work on the elevator. We got the most of the left side, uh, no, I'm sorry, the right side uh, uh, riveted, uh, and we got out here done with the the countersink rivets, and then um, let's see, we put some weights on here, put the bolts on here, so we know where they match up. Uh, what we had a hard time with is uh, getting these rivets in here um, and in here because um, you have to cut the rivets down a little bit in order to put them in. And we still don't have these four here. We got the first two in up top, but the, uh, the next four, uh, we have to cut them down to get them to fit in here right. So we gotta do some more research on that. It, it's it's not easy, believe me. So um, anyway, the other thing that we did is we put the uh, rib nuts into the plastic of the trim actuator, um, and we went back and forth with a bunch of people and a bunch of our friends who are building slings also on exactly how to do that. Um, probably somewhere around here you can see my little one over here. She's um, helping to destroy my workbench. Anything she can pull off the workbench and onto the floor, she does. Now uh, that's Shiloh, so this will be her plane eventually. Um, so let's see. Uh, we did get the trim actuator motor in here. We did have to drill out uh, to four millimeter these four holes uh, through the skin and into the, um, the plate, the mounting plate. Uh, and then we put the rib nuts onto the plastic with the eight special little bitty uh, rivets. Uh, and uh, then we screwed this in and it's sitting in there pretty well now. Uh, I haven't pulled the wires through or anything like that. That's, that's the way to take it. Um, but that was real difficult to figure out. The, the instructions are not clear on this at all. Um, how to put the rib nuts on it was, it was clear, but it didn't say that, that these four screws that have to come through the skin, I was thinking that they got it inside through the bracket, but not through the skin. Uh, but there was not enough clearance to get them in there. They're probably close to a half inch long. Um, so we, I, I don't want to make, hopefully I got this right. If not, well, you know what? I'm doing it the way it is. Um, so we ended up putting four screws through, uh, uh, increasing them to four millimeters and putting the screws through into the act trim actuator and it's fine. Okay, so um, now we're going to start riveting up the, this wing uh, here and we will finish uh, the rivets on that side once we um, get that done. Now I can rivet this on but I can't put um, the uh, uh, trim piece, but not until these four, we figure out how to get these four secured down here because uh, just something isn't right. Um, we've got to make those rivets really small and we're having trouble um, taking the rivet off of the mandrel, cutting it, and then putting it back on. So if you have suggestions, um, of course by the time you see this we may have figured it out, but if you have suggestions please leave them in the the comments below so we can figure out how to better do that. I'm sure there's other areas in the airplane where we'll have to do that. So, and you can do this. Um, okay, so other than that, we're just gonna uh, start in right here. Quite a bit of skin and, and, and things to go through here, so um, I think I pulled out the rivets way, way too soon. Uh, so we need to get these rivets down into here so we can then pop them. So anyway, that's where we are. Um, most of the way through the build. Uh, let me see if my 
epoxy is dry on it, it's still tacky. Um, otherwise, I'd go ahead and put mount in the, uh, the uh, panel here, but it's, it's still tacky, so I'll have to do it tomorrow. Um, so that's where we are. Um, do we have anything else to add? Yes, sir. I think it's going along smoothly. Okay. Um, I think that's where, where we were before. Um, just trying to figure this out to get it all working correctly. So, anyway, all right. Uh, thank you, and uh, we'll uh, pick up again in a little bit. Oh, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel, um, November 720 Sierra. Uh, and if you're so inclined, uh, please leave us a little donation at our Give, Send, Go, and our... Um, uh, GoFundMe accounts. Uh, we've had some donations, so that's been very, very helpful. Thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it very much. So please like, subscribe, uh, and if you want a new, uh, know when the new uh, videos drop, uh, there's a bell icon somewhere. I can't remember if it's here or here or here. I don't remember. Anyway, it's on there. You'll find it, um, and that'll notify you when our new uh, updates come out. All right. Thank you.